Hello everyone, my name is Matt Miller, coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri, in my humble abode, practicing social distancing like all of us are. And I thought I would share some things that I've been talking to my family about. I've met some of you. Uh, for those of you I have not met, I'm a longtime educator. My wife is a middle school principal, and I have three kids in college. <clears throat> and so I thought I would share some things that we've been talking about that relate back to our habits. And so as we know, Dr. Covey used to always remind us, and still reminds us, that the habits are best when there is a challenge. And so first and foremost, we need to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves during this time. So that means exercising, eating healthy, getting sleep, taking our vitamins, and making sure we're doing everything we can to take care of our immune systems. So taking care of self is priority one. And just being reminded that the four dimensions are there for us as well, not only our body, but our mind. So we've been talking regularly about paying attention to what we're consuming and making sure that we're not getting too caught up in um, the negative because we know negative breeds negative. A lot of you that I've had the time to <clears throat> have the pleasure of spending some time with, uh, I reference Trevor Moad a lot if you're looking for somebody new to listen to. Um, he has some great information, just has a new book out there called It Takes What It Takes. But I wrote something down the other day and shared it with the kids. It says, uh, everything we say out loud matters, and also what we say in our head matters. Uh, we have more power over ourselves than anyone else does. Words are tools, and they can both predict and perpetuate performance. Words become self-fulfilling prophecies. So making sure that we're paying attention to our language at this time um, will help our mind which in turn um, helps our behavior and our results that we get. Remembering spirit, uh, even though places of worship at this time are closed, uh, finding some time, just some quiet time, making sure that we're being involved in our community, and most importantly, uh, checking on our neighbors during this time as well. And then our heart. I think this has reminded all of us the most to make sure that we're doing a good job checking in with our family and those that we love uh, the most. And so those four dimensions are there to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. Uh, second, uh, what's in our, our circle is taking care of ourselves. And then second is our family and making sure that we're doing everything we can uh, to check on those that we love the most. And so in our house, our family mission statement is love family, love others. So this has been a good time to really revisit that and make sure we're doing everything we can to uh, love family and love others during this time. And then I just thought I would share um, a text that I sent out to my kids this morning saying, hey, just some other reminders during this time. Uh, first and foremost is hitting that pause button. We learned this in our Habit One training is that during this time, emotions are high. So we really need to be careful in how we're talking about this event uh, I find that uh, being an optimist, I always try to see the good in everything. And I've also been cautious during this time to not, to not be too positive because people are going through some tough times. And so at least allowing myself to stay neutral and most importantly, not be negative. So I think it's critical that we hit the pause button and really be careful how we're talking about this. Second, uh, paying attention to our language. Uh, I've talked about that before with our mind, but making sure that we're staying away from that negative conversation and knowing that negative breeds negative. And so I think what we learned in seven habits training is how we see things, our paradigms affect our behavior and the results that we get. And also just as powerful, what we say determines our behavior and the results that we get. So paying attention to our language at this time, I think is critical. Third is staying in our circle of what we have control over. Um, I had the honor of being at uh, Howard Elementary near Green Bay last Friday uh, during a time where this uh, was continuing to increase and you could tell there was a lot of anxiety in the room. So we took advantage of being in our, uh, when we did the circle of influence or concern activity, we used COVID-19 as an example of that. What do we have control over during this time? And what do we not have control over? 
And you could see the anxiety in the room lower because we realized there's a lot in our circle of what we have control over. And there were some neat stories being told afterwards of teachers that took that activity and did it with their kids. And we need to be reminded that our kids right now are anxious as well because of what they hear and what they see. And we know great leaders take anxiety and turn it into confidence. And where we find confidence is when we realize what's in our circle of control. Uh, and so I highly encourage you to do that activity right now and have conversation with those you love the most on what we do have control over and what we don't have control over. And then last but not least, um, it's just a reminder uh, to be a transition person for others, making sure we're checking on those we love the most and most importantly, uh, our neighbors. I'll end with a story about um, trying to be a transition person. A couple days ago, I sent an email out to all 32 of my neighbors here in Mirrorview and just said, hey, if there's anything you need, please let us know to run an errand, cook a meal. If there's anything we can do for you, please let us know. And it's been neat to hear the stories and people that have reached out. Uh, we had a family reach out saying that her husband has early onsets of Alzheimer's and might need some help during this time. Uh, we ran to the grocery store for a neighbor, and another neighbor reached out and made the connection that she taught at the elementary school uh, way back in the day, uh, where my wife was an elementary kid. And so the connections we've made for all of this um, have been great. And so I hope there's a few tips to help you during this time. If there's anything I can do, um, you can follow me at Love is Key today on Twitter. Uh, my cell phone number is 314-324-4637. Reach out to me at any time. I'm a very good accountability partner. And last but not least, uh, if you want to send an email, you can reach me at matt.miller at franklindacovey.com. And so again, I'm here to help any way I can. I hope this finds you doing well. And last but not least, from our Franklin Covey community, we love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hope you choose to have a great day.